Hey, what's going on guys? It's April 12th. It's a little bit after 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, beautiful sunny day. And um, I'm in one of my home spots here in New York, Westchester County. And hopefully find some, uh, find some sheds of some deers that I got pictures of. And uh, be able to share the experience with you guys. So wish me good luck and catch you in a little bit watching Red Droplets. What do you think about this one as far as a, uh, a rub on a tree? It's halfway decent. So we got another rub right here. Um, I want to show you what I'm doing. And what I'm doing is I'm traveling on this, on this buck's path and just kind of scouting the land as as close to me as possible so I never kind of look any further than 20 yards I keep my eyes right in front of me and um, I'm on this ridge I'll show you so on the on the right side of me I have some water and uh, and then on the top of the hill and all along this this path that I'm walking there's a whole bunch of uh, oak trees so I'm following the oaks and I'm finding the rubs so and they're all in a line so we'll see if uh, hopefully I get lucky and I find a shed somewhere over here So as you can see, we got we got a small stream right here in front of me, and uh, there's two bodies of lands that I hunt. I hunt both sides of the stream, and um, what I'm trying to do today is trying to find if there's a, a small pinch or basically a little crossing over the stream or over the stream, and uh, if I can find that, I'm sure the deer use it heavily and uh, might be a greater possibility of finding a, uh, a shed. So wish me luck and here we go. So the stream is getting a lot thinner over here as you can see. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of footprints. So I'm just gonna skim on both sides of the stream and just kind of hope for, uh, hope to see an antler. I don't know been out here for about an hour and I haven't found anything yet but a lot of sign and um, you know what this is always good practice too because you kind of see what these deer are doing um, in the off season and uh, kind of give you an idea of what they would be doing you know on season so see what happens hopefully we'll find something I've hunted this area right here, and uh, I got this deer that I called Mr. Seven. Beautiful, probably 100 class, 115 class right now. Hoping to boom up to 120 or plus this season coming. But uh, this is his territory, and I've seen him rub on trees, and I've actually got him on camera um, while I was in the tree stand a whole bunch of times. So I'm pretty convinced this is him, and. Uh, I'm hoping that we could find his shed, but it doesn't look like that kind of luck is uh, upon me today. So we'll see. Okay, so I wanted to show you what I was talking about before when I was showing you that rub and uh, telling you or describing to you what exactly I was doing and how I was walking this piece of land. So like I said, it's two big pieces of property um, and big hills 
two big hills and um, or mountains I would say and um, right crossing in between them is um, is a stream and it's fed by I don't know if you could see that but it's fed by that that lake right there so today today I walked uh, along the edge of the stream bordering both pieces of property and um, unfortunately no luck I'm heading down to my truck right now uh, you never know I might find something on the way down but can't get them every time but at least we're out there and uh, you know get an idea of what these deer are doing in the off season and um, you know just being proactive being out there in the out outdoors getting to see what's going on. That's what it's all about. Leaving my spot. Leaving my spot. Um, on the drive out, there's some deer right there. So, I do have deer in my spot.